Hey everybody, it's Loretta again with Cooking It Up Country Style and I've got a great recipe for you today for fall and for Thanksgiving. It's a harvest apple cake with a hot caramel sauce. You're going to love this. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is set up your mixer and uh, I'm going to add, to begin with, two cups of sugar. Two cups of sugar, one and a half cups of vegetable oil, okay. three eggs, preferably to room temperature. It kind of comes out better if you do that. Okay, and two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. Okay, well, what you want to do is mix this up really good before you add your dry ingredients. Okay, here we go. I know it's loud. You know, this is such a good recipe for fall. The cooler air really makes it uh, apples and cinnamon and all those good things. It's delicious. And this is so easy. I, I don't think you can mess this up. I really don't. It's just simple. Now, what I have right here is three cups of all-purpose flour. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. Okay, just whisk that around in your bowl. Really good. Blend it all together. And then you want to add that to your um, to your egg mixture, egg and oil mixture, just a little bit at a time. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do so it won't splatter all over the place. Okay, now you're going to use granny apple apples. That's right here. You want to core them, peel them, and chop them up in just little bitty hunks right here. And I put a little bit of lemon juice over these so they don't turn brown. So uh, three Granny Apple, Granny Smith apples. They have that tartness to them. It makes it really good. Okay. teaspoon of cinnamon, you can use apple pie spines, which is really good too. I just happen not to have that on hand. And cinnamon works just as well. Okay. okay, there we go. Now, I do. That was the highlight of the day. Okay, now to your mixture, it will be a little stiff. But what you're going to do, you're going to add your fly, or your apples, just a little bit at the time right here, and incorporate them into the batter. By hand, you want to do this. And it'll take a minute or two to get them all mixed together. Now, you want to preheat your oven at 325. So, let you know, do that in advance. Have it all preheated. Okay, all the apples there. Okay, you can use a blunt pan or just a, I have just a regular cake pan that I use. I've made probably hundreds of pound cakes in this pan and I love it. So I've already sprayed it with, with uh, the flour and the oil that's already included. So what you want to do is just to dump it over in here. Wow, that's heavy. What 
what we're going to do is going to put it in the oven and bake it. And I'll come back in a little bit and we're going to make our hot caramel sauce to go on top of it. Ooh, that's delicious. Questions about this recipe, just comments below. Just ask and I'll try to answer any question you might have. Left off something you didn't understand. Okay. I think that just about gets it. We're going to bake this in the oven about 70, 50 to 70 minutes. You can keep checking. Somewhere in that area. So we'll come back and show you what we got and we'll do our hot caramel sauce. Okay? Okay, we're back and I've baked my cake and um, one side I had a little bit of an accident on. I didn't let it cool enough, but I think it's going to be fine. It, it'll be good anyway. Now I've got my sauce on right here. And what this is one stick of butter we're melting right here. Okay, and to that we're going to add a half a cup of brown sugar and two teaspoons of heavy cream. Okay, and we're going to stir that up and let that come to a boil and it will thicken. The longer you cook it, it will thicken up. And then we're going to give that caramel sauce and then we'll pour it over. It smells delicious. Wish we had smell of Facebook, but we don't. So. Just stir, stir, stir. And bowl, bowl, bowl. To make the caramel sauce. See, it's beginning to thicken now, right there. And if you want to pour this over the cake hot, it's going to do a lot of good things. It's going to soak into the cake. It's really going to be good. But if you want it to cool, then it'll come on as a thicker layer. But, oh, that's just up to you. I think I like it kind of soaking into the cake. Okay, now I've added a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. And I take it off of the, off of the stove. Okay, now what we want to do is to spoon this over the cake. Oh gosh, with these apples, it's going to be delicious. Spoon this over your cake. And just let it drizzle down the side. I should have let it cool longer than when I took it up. It kind of messed up on one side, but hey, this is real life. Everything's not perfect all the time, is it? I think it's going to be great. It's going to be delicious. Okay. Alright. I'm going to cut this little thing and see, what's, see what it tastes like in a minute. got to try this. This is delicious. Harvest apple cake with hot caramel sauce. You're going to love it. 
I have a favor to ask. If I need a little feedback on these videos, if you like them, or if you have any questions, if you would like, uh, I would appreciate if you would like my uh, my uh, Facebook page and sprinkle the love around. You know that means S H A R E. So if you could do that, I would appreciate it so very much. And try this apple cake. You'll love it. It's delicious. So until we cook again, God bless you.